Gender equality will certainly be a big issue in this year's election, and we're committed to making sure you're informed before heading to the polls. Well, the Me Too movement is forcing change in state houses all across America. Women are demanding fair treatment and fair pay. Tonight, we meet a KU PhD candidate who fought that battle and won. Right now, there's only five species described from North American Cretaceous Amber. She has an infectious uh, thirst for knowledge. Down. These have been passed down for generations. But Brittany Oliniach oh, this is a good one. made one of her greatest uh, discoveries. The backstory is just too cool to, 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 to pass up. Outside her lab. I uh, was working for a department on campus. A coworker left and Oliniach took on extra duties. I am doing a lot of work in the same amount of time for the same pay. So she demanded fair pay. Also, I just like started sweating and she got it. I just remember thinking like, wow, like that went really well. And that first job um, out of college oftentimes sets the pace for what you will be paid. So it's very important that women, young women negotiate a really good starting salary. Wendy Doyle and the Women's Foundation have studied the gender pay gap. Young women start their careers making 10% less than their male counterparts. The gap widens over time. For every dollar a man makes in this country, a woman makes 80 cents. But in Missouri, it's 78 cents. And in Kansas, it's 77 cents. I think we've got some work to do. The pressure is on for state governments to adopt pro-equal pay policies and a culture of change. Women helping women is also something else that we, we want to encourage. It looks like broken eggshell, really. Even in uh, academia. These are actually a lot more primitive. Pay inequity exists. So, so this is a tarantula. And they're my gallimore. And education, um, Oliniach. They like darkness. Got darkness. early in her career. There was always that second guessing. Like, Am I really this awesome? And at the end of the day, you have to say, yeah, you're that awesome. Former Governor Jay Nixon signed an executive order promoting gender pay equity best practices. That was back in 2015. But Massachusetts has one of the most expansive equal pay laws in the nation. A recently adopted law says employers cannot ask you how much you made at your previous job.